Listen, the future is looking very, very promising for Stray Kids, for real. Because Stray Kids is probably like, honestly, they're the most unique K-pop group ever, honestly. If you look at Stray Kids, they're so unique. It's like, if you listen to their music, it's so different from what you hear, not just in K-pop, but music in general. Like, when you listen to songs like S-Class, for example, they have like three different beat switches and they're adding in different vocals, different ad-libs. They're adding, like when they have a beat switch, they start singing. Then there's another beat switch when they start rapping. Then there's another beat switch when they use a different flow of rapping. Then they're singing. Then there's the chorus. Like there's so many elements in Stray Kids songs. They add so many different unique elements in the song that keeps it fresh, refreshing. For real. Like, they add new elements to keep the entertainers entertained. For real. I mean, to keep the fans entertained. Like, with a Stray Kids song, you don't know what you're going to get from it. Every Stray Kids comeback, you don't know which sound you're going to get from it. Which is very, very good because as a listener and as a fan of K-pop... I'm looking for new and different ideas in music. And Stray Kids are the group in K-pop which stand out to doing different things, going outside the box, trying different new styles, adding in the auto-tune when they're rapping. Like, oh my goodness. And if you look at all the Stray Kids members, all of them, all of them, they all rap and sing. They just don't sing. They rap as well and sing. And they're all good dancers. They're very versatile, all of them. They're very, very versatile. And if you look at, no, majority, I would say probably 90% of Stray Kids songs, they write them themselves, mostly the rap line. Three Char, I think it's called, where it's, you have uh, Che Bin, Han, I think, and uh, Bang Chan, of course. They write like 90%. They produce and write 90% of their songs. Like, for real, they're one of the K-pop groups where it's, like, self-owned, basically. It's almost as if they're not part of JYP. They're, they're, they're part of their own label because they're very independent in their work. They're very in control of what they release, which is why you get the sound you do from Stray Kids because it doesn't sound like a K-pop sound. It doesn't. It literally sounds something completely different. What Stray Kids is doing is, I'm telling you right now, Stray Kids have a promising future, I'm telling you. They'll only continue to get bigger, bigger, and bigger because they're very, very unique. They, they, really, know what, they really know what they're doing with their sound. Creating, like, like, they're creating a different atmosphere with their music. For real. It's like they're creating a different like subgenre in K-pop where it's their own sound. No one else can do a Stray Kids sound. No one can copy their sound. Only them, only Stray Kids know how to do their sound. Stray Kids is the future.